Another series win. I'll take it. What's going on, everybody? Hopefully you're all having a good day, having a good start to the week. Before I begin, if you have not yet, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to my channel. Please like this video. Share this out with anyone you know. I'm on the road to 600 subscribers. If you could all help me get there, I would greatly appreciate it. And for those of you that have subscribed so far, thank you so much. It means the world to me. So the Yankees take another series, this time against the Toronto Blue Jays, one of their division rivals. Um, you know, it not to take anything away from the Blue Jays. All right, the Blue Jays have a good team as far as their lineup goes you know their pitching also uh showed up too until the yankees bats uh came alive all right friday it was a it was a pitcher's duel right between kikuchi and uh marcus stroman but credit to marcus stroman right? i have to highlight him because he pitched six innings he gave up only three hits he walked one batter struck out six and he didn't have any earned runs and he hasn't given up a run yet. So, you know, Marcus Stroman so far is everything is advertised. And I was very happy with his home opener. Even before the game, he was absolutely pumped up. He was interacting with the fans. I mean, you can tell he wants to be a New York Yankee. He wanted to come to the Yankees and I'm glad that the Yankees have him. And he's been he's been solid so far. I, I feel like, you know, there's an argument to be made that so far he's been, you know, our best pitcher. But uh, I'll let you all decide that. Now, another bright spot in this series was John Carlos Stanton. All right. Even before the season began, fans were already talking about DFAing John Carlos Stanton, benching John Carlos Stanton. Nobody had any hope for John Carlos Stanton. You know, for me, I was saying that he was going to be the comeback player for the Yankees. I still hope that happens, but, you know, we'll, we'll see, right? The Yankees so far have played 10 games, so they're 8-2, and two, great record. But uh, with John Carlos, he started out the season rough, right? Um, at one point through this past Friday – he had 24 at bats. He was three for 25, or three for 24. Excuse me, three for 24, and his batting average, 125, not great. Okay, but then in Saturday and Sunday's game against the Blue Jays, he turned it up. Uh, he had eight at bats, and he went four for eight. You know, so now his batting average is at uh, 219. So he turned it around, which was great to see. And everybody saw that grand slam that he hit yesterday. And that was well needed. What an op what a what a way to you know make an explosion. You know, with the bases loaded, we weren't really sure, you know, how he was gonna pan out. I was hoping he would at least get a hit and just get some runs in. That's what I was wanting. When he hit the grand slam, I said icing on the cake, that was awesome that was awesome and you heard the sound uh of the ball come you know on the bat like you heard that sound you knew as soon as it ma that bat made contact with the ball you knew that ball was gone and that was a shot so you know kudos to john carlos stand for showing up in the last two games i really do hope that he does continue this trend there needs to be more of this consistency from him all right um you know I'm not really ready to give up on him. I Again, I hope he does continue trending this way. I hate to see him go backwards and start striking out more and getting out more. I, I, I don't want to see that. This is the John Carlo that we all know. And again, I hope he continues this, uh, this trend that he's on. You know, it doesn't all have to be home run balls. I, I want him to get on base. I want him to get hits. I want him to create those opportunities. And he's done a he's done an excellent job uh, in those last two games. I, I am very happy with how he's performed. I mean, to me, he was the MVP of the series. You know, he definitely showed up. All right. 
And another player that I really want to highlight um, is Anthony Volpe. Now, Anthony Volpe, this is this was another guy, another player that fans were ready to give up on him, you know, because of last season. He was a rookie. He struggled. Um, I th- I think there was a lot of pr- you know a lot of pressure on him. He was trying to carry all the weight on his shoulders. He was trying too hard, and you saw that at the plate. All right, but this season so far, ten games in, his approach to the plate, his swing at the plate, is a lot different. He's showing more patience. Uh, the swinging the swing is looking a lot better. He's getting more hits. He's getting on base. I'm loving what I'm seeing. And kudos to James Rosen. And I've I've talked about James Rosen many times. I think he's a difference maker when it comes to this lineup. So I'm loving his approach to the plate. I'm loving the entire team's approach to the plate. Now, with Volpe, you know, he, so far he's got, you know, a 424 batting average. And he is 14 for 33. Three stolen bases. He's got a home run. 14 hits, three RBIs. So, so far, so good. I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing from Volpe. He's been showing up. He's been showing up. And I have absolutely no complaints about him. And, again, I remember there were fans that were already giving up on him, even to the point of, you know, sending him back down to AAA. They were ready to send him back down to the minors last year even though everybody was on board when they when the Yankees called him up and said that he would be the starting shortstop. But he's proven a lot of people wrong, which is great to see. The other name that I want to mention, and it's worth mentioning, and I will admit I was very critical of him, and that is Oswaldo Cabrera. Right? Oswaldo Cabrera had a golden opportunity. He got the golden ticket to start third base. He's been playing – uh, in almost every game, right, with DJ being hurt, with Peraza being hurt, um, he showed up. He's showing up, right? He's He was given an opportunity, and his approach to the plate has been outstanding. Defensively, maybe not the greatest third baseman. He's not bad. Uh, you know, that's where we are missing DJ LeMahieu, who, by the way, uh, is – recovering very well so he should be coming back um i don't know exactly when i did read a report saying that maybe by the end of the month he gets added back to the roster we'll see so with oswaldo cabrera i I feel like it's worth mentioning him right 33 at bats 11 hits so he's got a 333 average eight rbis so great stats great stats by oswaldo cabrera all right Felt like again, I feel like it was worth mentioning his name because um, he's been hitting well at at the bottom of the order, and I hope that trend continues. All right, so great series against the Blue Jays. They did very well against the Blue Jays, especially in Sunday's game. Yesterday's game, they did they played very well. Uh, Saturday's game, the bats were alive. The pitching was a little shaky. Uh, you know, the Blue Jays almost made a comeback. But again, you can't really take anything away from the Blue Jays. They they have their bats, their lineup. They can they can hit, and this that's a team that doesn't back down. Again, anytime you play against a division rival, it's never easy. It's never easy. So now, the Yankees have to focus on the Miami Marlins, who come into town. All right. So the Miami Marlins, you know, have a one and nine record so far. Uh, Right now, their their pitching staff is almost non-existent. They have a lot of players in their pitching staff that are hurt. So if you ask me, I think the Yankees should sweep them. I mean, one and nine record, but I'm not going to count Miami out. Miami will come in and they will give it their hardest to try and uh, win the series or win, win at least one game. Right. So I don't think they're going to be a team that's going to just necessarily lay down. But the Yankees absolutely have to show up. You know, they can't make this uh, a very close game with a team like the Marlins. Right. So we'll, we'll see what happens with that. 
Um, obviously, the Yankees and Marlins are playing tonight. They were supposed to play this afternoon, but then the Yankees were able to get Major League Baseball to move it to an evening game because of the uh, the solar eclipse, which I hope many of you get to see depending on where you are. But in today's matchup, as far as pitching goes, it's going to be Nesta Cortez and Jesus Lazardo. Now, Nesta Cortez, you know, I've said it. He's been a question mark for me. And, you know, we'll see how he plays against the Marlins. Hopefully he plays well. Hopefully he's not giving up, you know, three, four runs in the first couple of innings. Although he has been able to redeem himself after giving up those runs and is, leaves the game on a high note. All right. So he's, again, he's able to redeem himself. He He struggles, then he settles down, pitches well. But let's hope he can get out of the first inning without giving up uh, a few runs. Okay. But I do feel that they should be able to sweep the Marlins. But I'll still take two out of three. You know, two out of three, I will be happy with that every single time. I'll be happy with three out of four. If it's a four-game series, I'll be happy with three out of four every single time. All right. A win is a win. A win is a win. And so – I'll take this win. I'll take the series win. Again, the Yankees are 8-2. and two. They're off to a great start. Let's hope it continues trending in the right direction. And that's all I got for now. You all tell me what you think about everything I said. Please tell me if you agree, disagree. Let's load up the comments. I love reading your guys' comments. It's always greatly appreciated. And if any other news comes out, you know I'm definitely going to let you know. And it's also worth mentioning, too, real quick. Garrett Cole, he did begin his throwing program, so which is great to see. So he's slowly making some progress, but I'd say let him take his time coming back. Let's not rush him back because, again, with elbow injuries, that's something you don't mess with. You don't ever want to rush a pitcher back uh, to, you know, from, from an elbow injury. So let's, let's uh, not rush him back. All right. Again, that's all I got for now. Thank you so much for watching. Real quick, please subscribe to my channel. Please like this video. Share this out with anyone you know. I would greatly appreciate it, and I'll see you all next time.